on, come here. Milton! There go Milton and Madeline. There goes Milton just as far away as he could be. Milton! Uh-uh! When I tell y'all they are bad dogs, Milton and Madeline! You see they just look at me and then they just look right her back. Good boy. Good girl. Come on, Madeline. Come on, Milton. Hey! Milton, come on! Taking your sweet time. Good boy. Oh, what is that? Is it a bike monster? What is that? Madeline. Good girl, matey. Good girl. Okay, mommy, let you in. Good morning, guys. I am having an extremely late start to the morning because sometimes you just need to sleep in, you know? So I am outside. I decided to get my outside workout done first today. We got the bike right here. And then we got DJ ready to go in. DJ, are you being a good boy? D D D. Okay. Just me, living my best bike life. How are you, husband? I'm doing fine. You just so pretty. No, ma'am. You're so cute. Okay. Leave me alone. Okay guys, I am starting off the day. I'm having wisps as usual. And then I'm gonna have one of these keto-friendly egg witches that I bought from Costco. So crazy thing, these are actually pretty keto-friendly, right? For this egg witch, oh look, so I already made it. I took the top off of it because I always add salt and pepper and hot sauce. Just straight out of the microwave, they definitely need at least salt. Uh, but, you know, the pepper and hot sauce is just because, you know, I'm me, right? Uh, and so there are only three total carbs in this whole thing. And I'm counting total carbs this week. So I love that these are super convenient, pretty clean for like a store-bought ingredient, and very easy to make and low total carb. So the bun is an egg, and then it has a turkey sausage patty. Then it has some cheddar cheese on there, right? So I'm just going to... Put my little top on, my little top hat, and just give it a little. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tastes like eggs, sausage, and cheese. Nothing else. Couldn't have done it better at home myself. So I'm gonna have this. Today is burger and brats day, and I'm looking forward to it. But these are a winner. shop right now me and my sister just finished painting this entire room I know what you're thinking like autumn it just looks like a like a regular room like like nothing and that's the point <laughs> the person that was in here before had been in here for three years and this place was a mess there was stuff all over the floor there's stuff all over the walls we gonna need to get like security deposits or something like that because it was so much but we got it back in working order because we have a new person starting this week and i'm really excited about it you know what i'm really excited about i'm flipping burgers and brats i want to eat okay here are the brats that my husband's about to make for me there's my husband Yay. okay and burgers too right okay here take this Okay, so this was supposed to be, I'm having some sort of chocolate fluff for dessert today, which I'll show you guys later. But I was also gonna make some chocolate shards to put on top of it, right? So I was just gonna use regular unsweetened baker's chocolate because I'm really focusing on using whole ingredients, right? Baker's chocolate, and then I use some of this so nourished powdered erythritol to sweeten it. And then I also use some of this, but I put powdered erythritol in there and it was super duper thick. And so I was just like, geez Louise, I'm not gonna be able to pour it. It's like, it's not pourable, it's like smearable. So my husband had the brilliant idea to put a tablespoon of butter in there. So we put some butter in there to loosen it up, put it back in the microwave. And then I was like, well, why not just throw some vanilla extract, some salt in there, you know? And then, so it turns out, this is what I made. It is still, like it, it's not pourable, right? Like it's, it's definitely, a thicker substance but you guys it's basically like brownie batter like it is so thick and like spoonable it's like brownie batter did I just invent like no bake brownie batter I don't know I'll let you know but regardless I was like dad now this 
could be the dessert because like I ha this was supposed to be the topper of the dessert I was like I could just eat that right but either way I'm gonna let it rest like cool down to see if I can break it into pieces and then I'm gonna add it on top of my dessert to see how that goes but like it's good to know I have something to fall back on in case that thing falls apart because like this is absolutely awesome looks like poop tastes like brownie batter so there you go yeah, yeah. top this with some walnuts or something like that you legit have like brownie batter what yeah, yeah, that. what Oh my god, you're making it weird. You just make everything weird. Go outside. No. No. Regret. Instant regret. Why can't you just be normal? I am normal, thank you. No, you are not. No, you aren't. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Let's see what he has. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Let's give it the old looksy loo. Mm, mm. Delicious, both the meats and the man. The man meats. Mmm, wait. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, what my husband did for me. <laughs> Everyone, it's my mother, whose name is Christina. Ah, yes, Christina. Yes. Now, Christina, remember me? Yes. Christina. Meat, look. Huh? No, get your, get your mitts off my meats. No. no. I'm I mean, so would hungry. you like me to sample? No, I would not. Sure. No, I would not. Hey, I wouldn't want you to do anything bad, so. No, I my husband made these and they taste delicious. No, I don't need your help with it. I mean, I could agree with that, yes, yes, because he is preparing something for me as well. Yes, exactly. So you don't need some of my foods. No, okay. Right. All right, burger time. Stop! Burger time. Oh, oh, oh. I'm doing the typewriter right now. Say bye. Mom! Oh, sorry. Toodles. Okay, guys, it is my favorite time of the day. It's eating time, and my husband has made me some amazing burgers and brats, and I'm so excited. So, this is two burgers, two brats. On top of the burgers, I have two slices of bacon with some shredded cheddar cheese, and then I have some mustard and hot sauce, and then on the brats, I just have some regular mustard. Mmm, this is gonna be so good. Okay, going in. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot and fresh. Mmm, mmm. Beautiful burnt brat time. Look at that. Can you see? Oh my gosh. It's so crispy. Mmm. It's the snap of the casing, you know what I'm saying? If you watch the Food Network, you know what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Mmm. This is so delicious. I'd be forgetting how delicious this like incredibly low carb carnivore meal is. Until my husband makes it for me like, mmm. I'm going to enjoy this and then I'm excited to see how my like dessert thing turns out because it's definitely a dessert experiment at this point but like this is tried and true old faithful and I love it. Okay guys, it is time for dessert. So like, the bowl looks a mess, but hopefully this tastes great. What I did was set out two ounces of cream cheese, and so I let that soften. Then I just whipped that up in a bowl till it, you know, became a whipped consistency. Then I added six tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and then two tablespoons of cocoa, and some liquid sweetener. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It is legit chocolate mousse. It's creamy. It's thick. Look, let me. Oh, she thick with two C's thick, right? And as good as it is, it's it's very chocolatey and creamy. You can't really even taste the like the strong flavor of the cream cheese, but it definitely gives it its thickness. But I'm not even done yet. We gotta come back in the refrigerator to our dark chocolate, whatever this is. The good news is it is definitely hardened up, so I'm going to break off however much I'm supposed to have. That looks about right. That looks about like a fourth of it. It's supposed to make four servings. I'm just going to break this. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a piece of chocolate, oh my gosh, with my loose. Mm. Mm. Woo! 
even richer and chocolatier. Okay, this is a great dessert. I am really excited about this, so, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna enjoy this and I'm gonna have a lot more water. I literally just remember that I have to get on the bike again. Wow, I am sad. <laughs> 75 hard. I have to do one more 45 minute workout, meaning that I have to get on the bike after I have this. So, yay. Just hit me. Going to drink some water. Yay. Mm, this is good though. It is good. I'm on the bike. This is proof I did it. I don't want to be. Right now I'm watching football. Like, look, even when football's not on, they can spend hours and hours talking about football, which is kind of cool. So, I'm watching them talk about football. I'm almost done here, and then all I have to do for the rest of the day is just drink a gallon of water. So that's it. I'm here. Look, proof. I'm doing it. Okay, guys, I am going to sleep. I did nothing for the rest of the day. I just drank my gallon of water. So 75 hard, done. My meal prep today was amazing. The burgers and brats were awesome. The cello wisps and the egg sandwich, delicious. My chocolate fluff, like I'm really proud of myself because I've really been struggling this year. Like ever since Christmas, I've really been struggling to stick to my eating plan every day. Like I would have my meal prep and then I would just eat additional things, like in addition to my meal prep. It's all keto, but it was still off my plan. And so I'm really making it a priority this week to stick to my plan. Stick to the macros that I've set out for myself and only eat that. No extra bites of things here and there, no handful of almonds, no extra cheese snacks, like none of that stuff. Stick to my plan. And I did that today and that's a victory, okay? Celebrate the small victories. <laughs> that being said, I'm going to sleep. I'm very tired. I hope you had an amazing day. Tell me a small victory that you had this week or this year. Hello in the comments down below. I can't wait to see them. I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.